So you want to cook Thanksgiving dinner, but you don't have a whole lot of time. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a whole turkey in a crock pot slow cooker. But not just a turkey, I'm going to show you how to make a whole Thanksgiving dinner. Let's check it out. Now I'm using my six quart slow cooker here. This would be easier if you had a 10 quart or a larger one, but this is I think the size that most people have. So I picked up the smallest turkey I could find. This is a young turkey. It's about eight and a half pounds. And I checked it already. It fits nicely in the crock pot. So we are going to give it a try. So I'm going to be brining my turkey. You don't have to brine your turkey, but it will make for a much more tender and flavorful bird. If you don't want to brine and you don't have much time, you can go ahead and skip to the next section and I'll tell you what to do if you didn't. For our brine solution, we'll use one cup of salt for every one gallon of water. We've got about three gallons here, so we're going to do one and a half cups of salt. Then we'll get our bird opened up, we'll remove the giblets and the neck or anything that is inside the cavities, we'll get it rinsed up, and then we're going to put it in our brine overnight. Now we are ready to season our bird up. Now if you did not brine it, we're going to need about one teaspoon of salt for every pound of turkey. So in this case we've got an eight pound turkey, I've got about eight teaspoons of salt here. I recommend salting first and then doing your seasoning mix. You're going to want to make sure you salt the inside, salt it evenly outside of the skin, and if you really want a good breast, you can get up underneath that skin and salt underneath there as well. We're just gonna spread this evenly on the bird. Paprika adds beautiful color, nice flavor. Definitely recommend paprika when using turkey or chicken. All right, you guys, this is where we get a little bit experimental. We're gonna try to do an entire Thanksgiving meal in one six quart crock pot. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our potatoes and some onions inside of our turkey so it can slow cook there in the turkey juices. It's gonna be so good. We're gonna shove as much as we can inside here. Oh yeah, I hope this thing fits inside of there. So now we are ready to put our bird in our crock pot. A little tip for you, you can go ahead and cut three about two foot lengths of butcher string. And we're just gonna lay these evenly on our crock pot here. That way when we're finished, we can easily take the bird out. So as you can see, this is a pretty tight fit, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and shove it down and make sure that lid fits on nice and snug. So we still have some vegetables left. If there's any room in your crock pot, you can go ahead and add them. Right here, I've got a nice little cavity at the bottom. So I'm gonna stuff as much as I can inside there. Now the big question here, do you need to add any liquid? No, especially if you brined it. If you didn't brine it, you may wanna keep some broth ready and just kinda add it, but if you're using onions, um, the bird has some juices in itself, the fats will render. Just kind of keep an eye on it if it's the first time you're doing it and see and adjust according to your likeness. But in my experience, I've never had to add liquid to a chicken or a turkey when cooking in a crock pot. A little tip for you, add a little bit of green to the top. Just makes it look so much nicer. You can see there is so much juice in here. So now with our bird done, we're gonna go ahead and check the temperature of the breast here. So now the fun part, we're gonna to try to get this turkey out. This is where those strings come in handy. But I'm gonna show you one tip to getting that nice, crispy, beautiful skin. So I should have put it on a pan, 
instead of a cutting board. I don't know why I put it on a cutting board. There it is. We're gonna to wanna to go ahead and preheat our oven to broil. I'm gonna put my crock pot onto the high setting. We're gonna take out most of the liquid that's in here so we can make a gravy. And then we're gonna add our vegetables down below. And then I have this generic stuffing mix and I'm just gonna add it right to the crock pot. All right, now we've got our vegetables in our crock pot. Our oven is preheated to broil. We're gonna go ahead and put this bird in there for about five to 10 minutes. Just paying attention to the skin. We're looking for a nice golden brown crust. For our gravy, we're gonna go ahead and bring our juices to a boil. And then in a separate bowl, we're gonna mix in one cup of water and one quarter cup of flour. Stir that up nicely. And then while our water is boiling, we'll mix that in simmering for about one minute. And there we have a nice crispy turkey. Now the stuffing only takes a few minutes and you just want to make that butter melt. But the green beans can take up to an hour. You can put your green beans in the crock pot while you're preheating and crisping up your turkey skin. And then when you take it out after five, after about 10, 12 minutes actually, you can let it rest while the greens are finishing cooking. And here is our whole Thanksgiving meal in one crock pot slow cooker. Oh yeah. You guys, tender, juicy breast. I've never had an issue, even when I overcook it a little bit, it feels like the slow cooker just holds the moisture in that much better. I cooked all of this in one crock pot slow cooker. And let's give it a try. Mmm. <laughs> Tender, juicy breast. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out my other great holiday recipes. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, bakes out.